back in California and headed out for some trail running. Out here in Monterey, headed over to Fort Ord, gonna get some trail miles in. And keeping my fingers crossed, I don't get torrential downpoured on. Last two runs, I got absolutely dumped on by the rain. There's some serious, crazy weather happening right now in California. Thought it was a good idea to trade my snow and cold winter for California. However, uh, I just traded it for a different type of water. Headed over to Fort Oregon to see if I can get a 10 mile run in. Uh, we got a lot of rain in the last two days here, so I don't even know if the trailers are gonna be runnable or if they're gonna be too muddy or what. So, we shall see, let's get it. been over here a few times but with the gravel bike I don't think I've ever actually ran through here so I made up a probably just a hair shy of 10 mile route <laughs> so I'm following the watch pointing me in the direction of my route it's always questionable making those routes on Strava <laughs> never know what you're really gonna get into so far it's looking like super solid single track but yeah I got 10 miles on deck the route I created just kind of going with it hoping I did a halfway decent job making this route oh, as I say that I missed a turn it looks like yeah. <laughs> yeah so 10 miles on deck today last week took it super mellow after my four week block of running. So last week was just way reduced volume. I think I only did like 30 something miles of running. So this week is just bringing back the volume kind of on the base scale, maybe a speed workout or two. Today is 10 miles, which I'll do at an easy pace. Heart rate might read a little bit high than normal because I'm back down to sea level, not an elevation anymore but got a break in the rain, break in this crazy flooding weather in California. So out here in Fort Ord, Monterey, California, getting some trail. Four miles in, 8.57 pace, and like six missed turns for whatever reason. The heading bug on this thing keeps pointing the wrong direction. Like several times I've come up to a turn or a fork, and it's like, yeah, 
go right. I go right and then it's like starts flipping around. Oh no, we meant left. That's fun. Not sure why it's freaking out. Too much tree coverage or, or something. I'm loving this route I made though. Oh yeah, I fell in a puddle because this thing told me to go the wrong way. So then, yeah, saying turn around. Yeah, I'm supposed to turn here, left. Um, yeah, I slipped and fell in a puddle. <laughs> Looked down, realized I was going the wrong way. Went to stop and just slid. Legs went out from underneath me. Full on baseball home plate slide into a puddle. Yeah. Other than that, this is a freaking fantastic little route I made. Killer single track. Got some decent little hills. It's kind of flat, but it's pretty damn fun. Okay, back to it. Left hand turn. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, through that little pond is where I'm supposed to go. That just shows you how much rain they got. Um, yeah. Not quite sure what to do. I mean, I guess I could turn around, but I'm supposed to go through that way. But my trail is definitely flooded out that I made. Oh, I could see it on the other side. Uh, trying to figure out if there's another way around this. According to this, the trail's up there also, so. We're going to go up this embankment and uh, see if we can work our way around the pond because I don't feel like uh, swimming today. I know I've done multiple triathlons, but yeah, I've been wet enough the last two days. I'm not trying to get any more wet this way. Oh, shit. Oh, hopefully. Oh, little guy. Oh, boy. Going to do some bushwhacking. Should be a trail right over here somewhere. Hopefully. Oh boy. This is the shit I always get into. Uh, all this to avoid a puddle. I don't even know if it's gonna go through. Oh, almost lost my glasses. Not cool. the poison oak straight ahead hopefully there's a trail oh oh and nothing like a little bushwhacking party oh oh look another pond And that's my other, that is the trail. That was that pond back there. Flooded out that whole thing. I was just on the other side. Went up and over, which led me to another flooded out one. Luckily I was supposed to come up this way and go that way. Although my feet are still wet now. I did end up in one, one big puddle.
Right on the money. Oh, check this fancy shit out. Stay. That was a killer route I made, honestly. Like, I was not expecting it to be that good. Yeah, anytime you make a route on Strava, it seems like it's hit or miss. You're like, ah, uh, this is gonna be absolutely epic or this is gonna be miserable because none of it's rideable or runnable. Made a solid route. 10 miles, one hour, 32 minutes, 9-11 pace. That would have probably actually been a lot better if I hadn't made so many wrong turns and stopped to look at the map because it was telling me to go the wrong way. Mostly zone two, average heart rate 146, so that's my zone two. Running power 316. And got a whopping 889 feet of elevation gain. When I put it on Strava, it was like maybe 600 feet. So I managed to get like an extra couple hundred feet of elevation gain, which is pretty rad. Being sea level and just kind of rolling terrain. Did not get completely rained on this time, so that's good. All in all, that was a solid trail run. Okay, so race update. I know, I know. I said there was going to be no racing probably this year. So my buddies from up north are coming down for the big Alta, which is held by Daybreak. It's out in San Francisco, Marin area. The big Alta, there's a 50K and a 28K. They're coming down for the 28K, so I'm only a couple hours away. Like, my buddies from up north are going to come down, and I'm going to be a dick and not come race with them or come see them at least, like when I live a couple hours away. I mean, come on. So last minute, bought my ticket literally just a couple days ago. So I am racing Big Alta, even though it should be called Little Alta, because there's a 28K and a 50K, and we're going to race the Sub Ultra. So, yeah. I am racing in a couple weeks, that 28K, so that'll be rad to race with them. I'm not in race shape. I'm in good endurance shape. I'm definitely not sub ultra shape. So it should be a good so it should be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Just under 4,000 feet of elevation gain and pretty short distance for that 28K. And yeah, I know. Obviously, I can complete the route. Obviously, the elevations I can do. I 100% don't have the sub ultra speed, so I'm looking forward to seeing my buddies, and they'll probably rip the shit out of it. They're both in better shape than I am right now, I'd say. I got endurance, but just not that sub ultra speed that you need. So I'm looking forward to a good race, and I'll do what I can, but. I'm kind of just going into it more for fun than really racing, which is really weird to even say because anytime I show up to a race, I try to show up to win. But I'm trying to be realistic. I don't, I don't have that speed that's going to be required for that race. But yeah, I kind of wish I would have just signed up for it earlier so I could have made like a race series out of it. That'd been rad. But I will do a race video from that race. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll keep you updated on the race coming up and there'll be a race video soon and that'll probably be the only one for this year. So, you know what to do. Them important things. Like, comment, subscribe.